What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and after a year of waiting, finally, the 6.15.00 baseband downgrade is finally out. Thanks to Muscle Nerd and his hard work, we can finally downgrade our baseband from the iPad baseband to a more comfortable 5.13.04. Now the reason you'd want to do this is, for one, it does fix the GPS signal errors people were having, your GPS will start working, and you will be able to upgrade to firmwares in the future without breaking your device. Now this will be very easy, and the only requirement is that you you have a 3G or 3GS that is running the 6.15.00 baseband from the iPad and you can check in your settings menu, general about, and it should say 6.15.00. If you do not have this baseband, this video is not for you. You must first update to this baseband and then downgrade to the 5.13.04 using this video. No, it does not matter whether you are currently jailbroken and unlocked or running the stock iOS 5.1.1 firmware, it will work either way. And you guys will need to download two things to your desktop, and that's Red Snow 0.9.14 Beta 1, as well as your 5.1.1 IPSW for your 3GS. Now, if you have an iPhone 3G, you will not need to download your firmware. It's only for the 3GS users. And of course, all links can be found down below in the description, as well as a written guide. Okay, and let's go ahead and begin. So if you're on a Windows computer, you want to right click on Red Snow, select Run as Administrator, yes. And let's go into Extras and select our iOS 5.1.1 firmware. Open, okay. And on this menu, it basically is asking you if your iPhone 3GS is a new or old boot ROM. If you don't know, I will include a program in the description that'll identify it for you but for me i know my iphone 3gs is a new boot rom so i'm going to select yes we're going to go back and hit jailbreak now let this load for a bit it'll only take a second now once you're on this screen we're going to select downgrade from ipad baseband and depending on whether your iphone is jailbroken or not you're going to select install cydia if you don't already have it and if you already have cydia of course you're going to uncheck that we don't want to reinstall it and okay, so we're gonna hit next. And now we're gonna put our iPhone into DFU mode. So go ahead and hold the power button and we're gonna shut our iPhone down. And let me move this aside. All right, so as soon as we hit next, we're gonna hold the power button. Okay, so hit next, power button for three, two, one, together with the home button for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Once Red Snow recognizes your iPhone, go ahead and let go. And this will take about eight to 10 minutes. So make sure to not unplug your iPhone. I'll be right back. And once your iPhone is done with the downgrade, let's head over to settings general about and as you can see your baseband is now 5.13.04 and you can finally use location services so your gps will now work and let's head over to cydia because some of you guys might be experiencing a no service error and that's easily fixed by going into cydia and we're going to search for ultra snow and once you find ultra snow you're going to want to select it and you're gonna select modify, remove, you're gonna respring your iPhone, go back into Cydia and reinstall Ultra Snow. If that doesn't work, you're gonna do the same thing but for mobile substrate. And that will fix your signal issues. And of course, if you guys are having any kind of problems, make sure to read the article down below. Now a big shout out to Muscle Nerd. Without him, this would not be possible. All those GPS signals finally working, so thank you. Also guys, please like and favorite. It does show your appreciation. Thank you for that as well. Also leave a comment if you have any questions and of course subscribe for more great videos. Enjoy your GPS. Peace.